Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV and today we're going to be racing the NCCRS at Daytona at the Daytona Road Course. Uh, I got Reggie in the booth with me. Was going to have Jonah, but uh, he didn't show up. Uh, bummers. Uh, and sorry, this race is a day late. Had some the internet died, so it is a day late due to that reason. Uh, anyways, Jet 07 starting pole uh, in the 07 Jet Design Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, his teammate Sam Oskin started pole last week, and funny enough, uh, was fastest in practice, but that's pretty much useless information since uh, practice doesn't get you any points or anything in this series. You also may notice uh, Frank Shilton starting second. Uh, he's also in a new pace game, or well, not relative, but he, yeah, he's, this is the first time he's running it this season, so he's going to be running his Gallagher Bassett pace game for this portion of the season. Then starting third, see Saber Fox in interesting points format, and then Melinda Jones also running new paint scheme in Sprite. Uh, this could be a good points day if they stay up there. And you see Vince Freeze, who has been having a terrible stretch of races, finally getting a top five start, hopefully a top five finish, as he has since fallen below the cutoff line and then starting sixth. I'm going to go ahead and shout him out. Um, he's also running a new paint scheme, um, Aztec Love It. I haven't seen him up front a lot, but he's actually running fairly all right in points, considering uh, he hasn't been up front at all. Uh, but he's actually not dead last in standings. And again, just Khan, who's fourth in standings, starting up front as well. This could be a great points day for him. Right next to that, Craig Pockers, who's uh, looking for two straight top tens. I think he got his first top ten of the season last race. And you see Monster, Sustre, Gorse, and Cooper, who I think is rounding up for top ten, but I'm not going to say anything. Reggie, you got any thoughts? I got two right? Alrighty. Let's talk about the points lead. <laughs> hey. Alrighty, points lead. Points leader. Jared starts in the back, but Chilton, starting second, actually gained points up on him. Yeah, so here's so, here's the deal. So Shred currently has a 33-point cushion on Chilton, who's starting second. They're currently... Shred currently starts 20th. Uh, Chilton's starting second. So if this race were to start where it's finished, considering the four... Saying the four doesn't lead any laps or wins the race, or doesn't win the race, that points gap would shrink, but Chilton would not catch and take the points lead, but that points gap would shrink quite a bit to around 10 to 14, maybe 15 points or so. Um, now, say Frank Chilton does take the lead... Um, lead the laps, some laps, wins the race. Chase Red falls back, gains positions. It's really up in the air. It's going to be dependent on those things uh, for the points lead, really. But uh, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. We'll see. Uh, Reggie, what was your second thought? I think it's going to be somebody around 7th. The 10th going to win the race. Think someone from seventh's gonna win it? It is between seventh and twelfth. I think it's going this race. Twenty. So the guy in seventh is again just Khan. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The guy in twelfth is Cooper. Cooper is dead last in standings right now. So him winning this race would be big. For him as a team and, a, and as a driver and as a, for a KK Racing as a team, that would mean that all three of their drivers in the series have a win. Two of which are already inside the playoff picture with Potato Boy and Space Guide. So, interesting. We'll see how that uh, goes full circle. We got seven laps around here at Daytona. Uh, you know, road courses are caution rules are pretty light, lenient. So is our uh, manual DNF rules. This is a pretty large track with a lot of, a lot of time. So, um, so let's see how it goes. Uh, just keep it realistic as we can. Again, Shred starting on pull, and we're gonna get, get, get the command here in just a couple seconds. Oh, that another thing. The scheme uh, change. Drivers, stop your engines. Yep. There's the command there. Right, Reggie, what were you saying? Don't forget to mention the scheme change for Messi. Oh, yeah, Messi. You're going to be driving uh, Hendrick cars. Uh, yeah. Basically, copy paste Kyle Larson. 
And start right in front of their teammate, Sam Oskin. Mid-pack, so you know, team up front finish should be very difficult, but Shred cur currently carrying him. And he's actually in a decent spot in standings. Don't currently have him up as I speak. I don't think it'd take too long to get them up. No, it wouldn't. Uh, Shred is actually just a few points below the cut line, actually, where Vince Freeze is at. They're very close in points. With Riley Gorse, LJ Toledo, Pox Kozar, Alex Tanker, and Thunder 24 fan, kind of in that same area, and uh, see two of those guys up front. Reggie, you want to call the green here? Yep, 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 yep. Go ahead and go helicopter, make sure Frank Chilton doesn't start jump the start. If he jumps the start, that would be tragic. <laughs> Oh, Jet misses the corner. Saber Fox currently in the lead. Vince Freeze in second. Two Dodges, a Chevy and Ford, and another Chevrolet. Oh, and Vince Freeze in the grass. Frank Chilton as well. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna slow up Vince Freeze. It's gonna slow up Frank Chilton as well. Some Dan also missing that last corner there a little bit, and that's gonna spread out the field quite a bit. The Saber Fox already with a big lead on their pole sitter Jet, who. Had a very bad start, or actually had a bad corner on the start. Uh, they may have just checked themselves out for the win if this goes green all the way and nothing, no one has anything. So Jet in second, who started a pole, he's going to get that 10-point bonus. Uh, and he's going to try to catch up to that 87. We'll see. Because we're not complete. We have not completed lap one yet. Jet and again, leader Saber Fox looking for their second one of the season. He would be the third multi winner of the season, as Alex Tinker was the second last week. The other one being Zig Zagoon, who's been dropping back in points quite a bit. Genghis Khan also looking for a good points today. He's in fourth right now. In third place, Monster. Please be their first podium of the season. And Vince Freeze and uh, Frank Chilton have not fallen back too far, but. You want to have a better spot, and where you go, you want to get the best spot you can. But you see those two Dawn Patrol cars, Monster and Riley Gorse, their third. Oh, and Genghis Khan almost spins out there. I wouldn't say spin out, but uh, took that corner very roughly, and that's gonna cost him a little bit of time. And uh, Riley Gorse, I was saying, as I was saying, 33 and 16 teammates. PS Motorsports looking to get a second race where they get two drivers, I believe, in the top five. Could be top ten. Riley Gorse got a top ten last week, and he's been. Actually, we're getting a little bit more consistent in the later half of the mid-season run. So, running okay. Oh, and the 07 and 30, the 16 missed the corner. 33 is going to take second. And the 07 will take back that spot from the 33 as he does recover. That's just going to let that 87 take more, gain more positions. 11 events freeze has recovered to sixth. Or actually, yeah, that corner, is, like you said, is a very rough corner. If you swing it, we've seen both, seen everybody swing, just about everyone swing it too wide and costs them quite a bit of time. Vince Freeze is uh, just one spot shy of uh, recapturing where he started, and Frank Chilton has fallen back from where he started. Uh, for the sake of the points, let's see where Shred's at. He has fallen back five spots. Uh, Actually identical to how many spots Frank Chilton has fallen back. So, that's interesting. As the battle for the lead is non-existent, uh, Saber Fox has checked himself out right now. Ever since lap 1. 33 and 07 battling very, very close for second. 37 trying to stick his known as in as well. Monster trying to get his... Ooh! I was 
Yeah, yeah. There's 37 getting yeah. con trying to get underneath Vince Freeze for uh, fourth place. Or actually, uh, Vince Freeze is trying to is the aggressor on this pass. Hey, Jordan, Jay, did you hear? Uh, I heard what you said. Yes, I don't recall hey. those drivers that you're talking about in practice. However, I'm talking about. That's one of the two players I'm talking about. That one and the one, and the one coming up. Yeah, uh, I don't think anyone. I don't think missed that one. But we were talking about a uh, Zig Zagoon. He has climbed up to eighth from a uh, not so great starting spot. So his points lead discussion is not over. He is catching up to Frank Chilton right now for seventh. Frank Chilton still having a great day. Had a great day last race as well. Just well, actually. Uh, he started up front last race, just didn't finish well. He isn't really consistent when it comes to qualifying, and he's really been consistent. He's just, you know, it's Captain Consistency, or Mr. Consistency, uh, or no, that's uh, Kyle Seastray, is Mr. Consistency. Uh, and he's actually running fairly all right right now. 14th, not not back to his former glory, but still running all right. Frank Shelton is Mr. Raw Pace, and he's able to keep that pace up. Um, and he's been playing... Uh, consistency lately so we'll see how that works in his favor as we are now officially halfway in this very short race as again the 87 is shown uh, took the lead off of the start started very well and no one's had anything since as uh, they've been battling and tussling and it's just nothing as pole sitter shred Still looking pretty good for second place finish. Vince Free is looking for a good points day as well in that 11 car. Uh, has gotten around the 37. And the 63, some Dan has gotten around the 4. Some Dan's been fairly... Con uh, some Dan's been very consistent the past few races. Had a terrible start in that Roach Racing Dodge. Um, but he's starting to get back to the speed we've seen out of him last season when he was winning races and doing very well. Just haven't seen that yet. Uh, well, I, full effect yet, but he finished second in New Hampshire and I believe got top 10 last week in Iowa. Don't hold me on that, though. It looks like the 07 of Jet has... Um, is trying to pull away from the uh, 33. Maybe try to catch that 87, but I just don't know if he's quick enough. A lot of time can be gained and lost in these corners. Just The 87 is quick right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at our fastest laps. Who's the fastest of the cars? It's the 87. No surprise. <laughs> Fastest car in the race. In the lead and pulling away right now. Very sped out, spread out race. Just really fastest car taking over. There's Monster running third. And again, this is a field try pretty spread out trying to gauge what they're going to do. Is the 33s made a mistake. Made a few mistakes in the past few corners, allowed that 11 to catch up, and the 37 may I'll try to pounce something here as well. Is that four cars not quite got the pace they usually have most weeks? He's not really able to fit as quick as that 63 as some Dan, uh, six flame. And you know, road courses are not Frank Shelton's strong suit. Oh, the 37 messes up there. It's going to cause the 63 to catch him up. Allows the four to catch up as well, along with uh, Zig Zagoon. We're coming to two to go next time by. Again, very short race. Try to get him here. See if anyone misses the corner here. It looks like, oh, and someday and misses it. That was the last guy I would expect to miss that corner. That's going to be free spots for the uh, 4, 0, 06, and 16. Is the 30. Oh, almost hits the wall there. Cooper. <laughs> That's going to cost him some time. So back to the drawing board for those guys. Zig Zagoon has uh, capitalized on that quite a little bit. And so did Frank Chilton. You're Vince Freeze trying to look for his uh, first top five in a hot minute. Has a very bad stretch of races ever since uh, switching his paint scheme over to Killer Carolina Railroad. And this is the best run he's had with it. Hopefully it, it does get him a good finish here today. And that 11 car. Again, that 87 just checked himself out as we were going to two to go here. 
Saber Fox won in Charlotte. Uh, him winning today would make him the third multi-winner of the season. And definitely put him in the spot, uh, put him in a really good spot for championship contention. Makes really good entry in that corner, which is to be expected. 33 of Monster trying to get around the 07. Just can't. That corner right there is really tricky. Uh, he's got a fast car. Just uh, looks like the 07 is just a little bit better off the corners. That 07 is just not able to catch the uh, the uh, 87. He is. I said it again. Checked himself out. Pretty much. We're gonna come to the white flag this time. I do want to see where the 73 is at for sake of points lead. He has fallen back another five spots to 30th. Um, Frank Chilton has stayed pretty even. Uh, if this now again, this would not hand the points lead over by no stretch, but it would close that gap a bit, quite a bit actually. So uh, that would be interesting for point standings once we update. That is Saber Fox's lead right now. I'm going to go ahead and... He's got a two, almost three second lead on the 07 of uh, a jet right now. Which is... Man, that's crazy. Just took it from lap one and just ran, took and ran with it. Took it and ran with it. You got to take your advantages where you can, and he sure did. And he's, you got these two buddies right here battling for position. This is for second. We are white flag in the air for the 87. Of Saber Fox. We're gonna check our standings, make sure no one has DNF'd or had any bad enough issues to be out of the race or in contention of out of the race. And this car is Brock Nelson, so I don't believe we're gonna have any issues there. Saber Fox has pretty much checked himself out for this one from the start. Uh, after after that first corner where the 07 messed up, it's just been lights out since. No one's had anything. Good top five lineup right now. I think the best point stay here is gonna be Genghis Khan. He is gonna be, he's gonna be one to talk about for sure. Uh, he's definitely gonna be in good talks right now for potentially taking the points lead. Is uh, Frank Shilton has held serve in sixth place right now. Not a bad day for Frank either. And then Zigzagoon also catching up. So if those three cars, uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Good points today. And Vince Freeze may just climb back into the playoff picture after this one if he can get some consistency going. Nonetheless, we're going to go these last few corners. And Saber Fox has just a good old butt whooping on the field. As uh, he has checked himself out to win this one. The 87. And no one's had anything. He's been the fastest car. Was able to get it on, get it fairly early without a lot of hassle. And Saber Fox won Charlotte, and he's gonna win here at uh, Daytona Road Course, and will check himself a second win in the NC Service, and also uh, be the third multi-winner of the season. Well. That was something. Well, TV2 actually looks really nice. We're going to end it on TV2. Take a look at our final standings. So, uh, 87 is Saber Fox is your winner. Second place is Jet 07. Third, Monster. Fourth, Vince Freeze. And then we see the trio of the uh, guys, like, I guess, top 10 in points, I guess you could say. Uh, again, just Khan, Chilton, and Zigzagoon, not in that order in points, uh, mind you. And then a good day for uh, the 16 of Riley Gorse, and then some Dan with another good day despite uh, missing a few corners. And then Cooper able to keep it clean with a 10th place finish uh, despite a close call on the wall a few laps ago. Well, Reggie, you got any uh, thoughts? No. All right, well... Uh, so, 
next week, baby. Alrighty. Well, for me, uh, Reggie Fugelman, this is Zach103 TV at uh, the Daytona Road Course. A uh, little nugget here. Riley Gorse with the fastest lap. Not going to get him any points, but just a little nugget there. Uh, 120 miles an hour. So, uh, But that will be good here. We'll see you all next race.